What's up guys, how you all doing? This year I'm trying something a little bit different Installing 10 nukes, couple over there And this is what I'm going with I'm gonna split as many beehives as I can I will keep some of those ones But I am going away from a wooden beehives, at least try to But there you go, those are nukes, I'm gonna try to Split as many beehives and keep them like that And one of those right here Sometimes I use this one, but for the most part, I'll try to go with that ones. Okay, let's get to work. By the way, these two beehives are still alive. I bought another box with some drawn out comb and some empty comb for them to build up fresh comb to lay more eggs and some honey. No, not in this one. But yeah, this hive is doing really good. It's still kind of cool though. A real fast update on this. Beehives. See how they're doing. Oh, there's lots of ants. Oh my goodness, they're doing very well. You know what? I'm not gonna disturb them too much. Maybe I'll open up just one box. It's like 65 degrees, it's getting warmer, but they are absolutely exploding. They filled it up. Let me try to pull one out. Look at that. They're filling it up with honey so much. They just packed. And this is fresh honey. I can't believe it. Maybe I'll take this one frame out. And so that way it's easier for me to work with. These plastic beehives have different frames. So these wooden ones don't exactly fit that well. So let me take one out. So that way it's a lot easier it will be in the future. Look at that. Fresh honey and stuff. So I'm gonna put one empty for them to build up right here. You see these plastic ones are much thinner. Put this one in here. This one beehive exploding, the one that survived. And now I'm gonna close them off all the way. And this is what I've done. This side here, a lot more empty space. And pretty soon I'm gonna come back and split them. They're probably going to split anyways. And as you can see, if I have one or two plastic frames, it fits way better. So I'm gonna put the cover back up. This beehive is absolutely amazing. I wouldn't touch this beehive anymore for a while. Maybe I'll come back and split it in a week because this thing is so big, but I'll let them build up this box real quick too. Because it's a nuke, I'm gonna give them two boxes right away. Oops, this one should be empty. Oh well. Okay, this is how you install frames. This is a six frame nuke. I'm gonna go with nukes this year. You see, I have one doing out home. You buy this thing for $150, open it up. There'll be a lot of bees out here. And we're gonna take them out one by one. Or two at the same time, that's fine too. Just don't drop it. a bit so that way they'll come down and go back inside and one two three four five yep nice and fresh oh yeah as you can see they're going to hatch out early soon and completely explode nukes is the easiest way to start beekeeping As you can see, if I fill it up too many frames, it's really hard to work with these wooden frames and this kind of plastic beehives. So I really have to go with only six frames out right here. But that's okay, that's plenty. Awesome. Now the rest of the bees, I just shake it up inside there. Once again, smoke them a little bit so they go all inside. And then I'm gonna put this box on top of it. Oh, close them up. Super simple. 
and the rest of the guys will find their way in into the entrance I'll just leave it overnight out there but yeah that's what I'm gonna do to 10 nukes like that okay guys check this out I have all these nukes over here I will check this beehive this one survived from last year and right here they just install nukes look at them finding a way in there's a cluster right here too there's entrances on this side and on this side so whatever they pick whatever they prefer better I'm gonna leave it open whatever, whatever they're going to come out the most and couple of this one big ones boom look at them they're already pollinating the flowers everywhere oh my gosh check this out every little flower has bees those are hungry bees if you look over there that's beautiful and there's hundreds and thousands of flowers that's nice we'll see how we do this year we're going to keep splitting those bees and hopefully we can continue breeding a lot of bees and so that way we have a lot more bees surviving to the year to the winter anyways guys that's pretty much it let me know in comments below what do you think about beekeeping videos thank you for watching and i'll see you next time